and welcome to Build. I'm Simon Atkins, and as always, we're live from London with a very excited audience tonight because this evening I'm joined by a British pop trio who formed in 2015 and in just a short space of time have gone on to achieve big things. Would you please welcome Reese Blake and George from New Hope Club? Yeah. What up? How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Very excited to have you on the Bill sofa, as are the audience. Are you excited, guys? <laughs> now, before we get started, if you're watching at home and have any questions for the guys, we'd love to hear from you. You can tweet us at Bill Series LDN, or you can leave a comment below this video if you're watching live on Facebook. Guys, welcome to Bill's. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for going having on? us. How are you guys? We're good. good. Very good. We've had a good day so far. It's been all right. Yeah? <laughs> have you been doing much promotion? Have you been around, around London? Um, yes, we've been filming all around London today. Uh, what, what have we, we done do? today? What did we do? well, I, I can't remember the day. Done. I can't remember a single um, thing I've done We woke today. up well early to get our Thailand oh, visas. That yeah. was fun. Got get your what, your visas? Yeah, for, for the Thailand, Thailand embassy. Mm. Nice. Very yeah, exciting. And you've got a film crew with you as well, I see. Mm -hmm. we, yeah, they, we they're always do. with us. We're, they're always with us. They are. They're okay. the back, yeah. Yeah. There they are back there. So they're filming the filming. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so we're going to talk about your new music, but first we kind of just want to talk about you know you guys and um, and how you got together. So the name New Hope Club, where did that come from, and is there a meaning behind it? Who came up with it? Well, it well, was, um, it was yeah, it was a massive list of names. Um, we had like yeah, you guys probably know yeah, the names know. that we had. I've got a trees like the trees, like skate uh, Shaker Bay, Shaker, Shaker Bay. Bay. That was a good one. Um, was the pa pavements was that one? I don't know. That's quite all right. The that's all right. Good. The rift, the rift. Yeah, that okay. was. Um, and and how did you settle on New Hope Club? We had it like it was separated. We had like New something, and then Hope was along there, and then we had the club. We always liked the idea of club, just because we thought it was like I don't know. It was, it was something cool about being able to be part of a club and like yeah, like a kind of. Yeah, just like a family in a way. Um, and then New Hope Club sounded positive. It sounded something that you'd want to be part of. And we thought it just fitted well. It sounded nice. And then let's quickly touch on how you guys all met. Because, Reese, you were part of Stereo Kicks, weren't you? From um, X Factor 2014. Yes. Oh. Ooh. There he is. There we are. Look at him on the right there, just killing <laughs> So how did all of you guys meet and how did it all come together that the three of you have joined um, together? Um, we just like ran in the middle of them and just grabbed these. <laughs> <laughs> <these. laughs> Here's Coldplay. Just <laughs> nice. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so well, I was obviously on the show and then um, I think these boys started first. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. I think. <laughs> I think so. I can't I really remember. No, so they were writing together for a little while yeah. whilst they were at school, uh, meeting up on the weekends. Um, and whilst I was on the show, um, I think, yeah, so I got contacted um, by our manager. And he was like, there's these two boys uh, that you should meet. Uh, so we, I went down and we spent like a weekend together and we like watched some films, uh, played a lot of PS. And then and just clicked. Yeah, yeah. That, the main thing for us was that we became friends before we was like just thrown in a band because we didn't ever want to be like something where there wasn't chemistry. But instantly we was just like like best mates. And okay, we was having a no, good time. No awkward silences. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Now, your, um, your first recording was a cover of the Vamps track, Wake Up. Uh, were you fans of the group and that yeah, song? Yeah, I did like a cover of their song. I used to tweet them all the time, <laughs> being like, please watch my cover and stuff. Um, so, yeah, for sure. They're a very talented bunch of boys, and, you know, so it was definitely cool to then for stuff to follow on after that. And now, of course, you're on the same label as them. How did all of that kind of stuff come about? Uh, so the, our manager created the Vamps also. Um, so through them, we met the Vamps. Obviously, the first time that I ever met our manager was in a room with uh, James uh, from the Vamps. Um, and yeah, basically just played for them. And he was like, yeah, there was kind of like an audition, but not. Uh, and it w they were just always dead nice. From the very start, they've always been, like, been really cool with us. Uh, they invited us down to Vamps shows. And obviously, if you've seen the boys live, they're incredible. So 
we've just always been learning from the very start. Um, and yeah, they, they've helped us a lot, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and you're touring with them, which we yeah. talk about. But first of all, we need to talk about your new single, Permission. Do you guys like it? <laughs> So tell us a bit about the vibe of that, George. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. So the song is, um, it's quite an upbeat vibe. It sort of follows on quite nicely from our song Medicine. And um, we thought it was like a good, like another step. Um, there's a picture of us there. Look, um, uh, Yeah, and it's all about like um, teenage rebellion sort of thing. Uh, we don't need permission for nothing. No, Drink. we don't. We don't. No, we don't. We don't. <laughs> yeah. And congratulations is in order because it has went into the iTunes top 20. Oh. So were you guys, is that like really exciting when that happens? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's, it's always amazing. Like, especially Permission, this has been like the best reaction we've had from a song like instantly. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's always cool. It never fails to like amaze us how quickly like people can just jump on a song. Like, like what, like two weeks ago, no one even knew this song and now everyone's like... Loving singing it. So, it's so cool. cool. There These guys were singing it um, before you guys, before we you came it. into the studio. They're, they've been, they've been, waiting, singing back they've been waiting all day for you. Um, let's oh. take a look at um, the, the music video. Permission! <laughs> so, where does the idea for a music video like that come from? Does it come from the creative team? Does it come from your heads? Is there a collaboration? I mean, it all depends on the song. Um, but for this one, it was kind of easy because... It, we knew what the song was about, and it, it just had to be like party that party vibe. vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. And, and then it, it was like, so the idea was that there was a party of um, like a chill party going on upstairs, and then underneath in the basement, we're having a That's good where time. we are. That's where we are. <laughs> and then, so what, but what is it like? What was it like shooting that video? Does it, was it shot over a couple of days? Was uh, it shot in one day? Yeah, it was one day. We got up pretty early, and it, we, uh, we hired out this woman's house. Um, so she'd done it before. She'd done it before where she... Just um, knocked on and just... Yeah, like, <laughs> just yeah, like, hey, we're, we're, hey, we're coming in, we're bringing our mates. But so she'd done it before. She'd done it for a few music videos. And I don't think after we, the way we left it, I don't think she's ever going to do it again. Because um, our party was actually a proper party, I think, downstairs. Um, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it could have been. But is, that, is, that the, is that the type of party you guys actually throw when you get together? No. Or is it more <laughs> chill vibes? Yeah, we always play at our own parties. Um, that's what happens. <laughs> Um, and so the people in the video, are they all cast or were any of them your friends? There were so many people. There was like definitely the most people we've had in a video. There was like, and it was such a mix of people because there was like some older people and then obviously younger people. Uh, but we got some of our friends in, um, like YouTubers, stuff like that, uh, who play like little but That's quite parts. nice. Yeah, it's, it's, we always like to obviously involve our mm. friends because... You know, if it's all people we don't know, so I feel like you can kind of get that vibe from a video because it's like a bit awkward. But yeah, to have like to be comfortable in a video, I think comes across. And yeah, the, it was just we just had fun with the video. But like, was there because obviously you've got like you guys downstairs, the adults upstairs. Was there like were you guys hanging out with each other? Yeah, the adults. Right. You're like, no, yeah. we're 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 kicking with the kids. The adults <laughs> were like proper fun. Like, were they? Yeah, like full on. <laughs> they arrived and they yeah. were just. They were playing Party. music and having a well good time, and no cameras were on them. They were just loving it. So <laughs> it was fun. Um, right, so let's talk about your musical influences, because you guys have obviously done covers for uh, The Vamps and for Ed Sheeran. Um, are they the kind of same people that um, you're influenced by, or who else do you listen to and love and take inspiration from? We have like such a wide range of music that we're into, but... I think all for all of us, the, our favorite band will always be the Beatles. Okay. Um, but then it just, yeah, I mean, we love all kinds of bands. Our favorite band right now is Catfish of the Bottom Men. Um, oh, we've got a cheer to go. <laughs> yeah, and do we, we're always listening to so much. Yeah, just every day, different stuff. And is there anybody that you would like love to collaborate with? We always get asked this. It's a hard question, isn't it? We're going to so collaborate with. We looked at. We've. They're really nice boys. Um. So yeah, for sure. Um. But I don't know. Like Sean Mendes would be cool. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching, Sean. <gasps> Sean, give the guys a call, <gasps> mate. <laughs> it's like when you open a Christmas present. <gasps> <laughs> right. Okay. Social is obviously going crazy for you guys. Um. Jade Young on Facebook says, "If you weren't in a band, what job would you want to do?" George would be a doorman. Doorman. Really? He would. Uh, he's, uh, yeah. He'd like to be doorman. 
Because he, he can like s- he can sing. He'd be like a New York doorman. Yeah. Like, he'd be like, New he can York. sing. New York. And he's like really good at opening doors. <laughs> he's one of his skills. I'll take that, you know. I'll take that. Well, what about you guys? Um, I'd like to do something with art, like some form of painting or something. Something creative. Boring, I know. Everyone's like, everyone's like <laughs> I'm boring. Sick, mate. Yeah, cool. <laughs> and you? Um, I've, I, don't, I don't know. I'd have obviously gone to university. Football player. Yeah, I'd have been uh, I'd have been playing for England football by now. <laughs> just England though, not just, club. Yeah. Just England. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, do you guys now. come from musical families or musical backgrounds? Yeah, yeah. I like parents. so all of you. Yeah, all our parents like sing and and play instruments. So they kind of brought us up on like old music as well as like current stuff. So okay, kind of built us. And so, and now that you've like fled the nest, built are they like they are they us. are they built loving? <laughs> Are they loving your success, or do they get? To, do you get to see them much? Yeah, uh, we, we see my parents a lot. We stay at my house quite see, a bit. I see George's mum and dad more than I see my own. <laughs> <laughs> Same, which is you know it's cute, it's nice. Mm. But, but, but yeah, they j- look. They obviously love. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're always coming to our shows yeah. um, wherever they can. Even like abroad, they'll travel. They just uh, they love it, yeah. And they're always like up to date on social media. They're always watching. Our, they'll be watching now. I, yeah. I bet. Should we give a Hi. shout out to mum and dad? Hello, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Hello, mom and dad. Hello, mum and dad. <laughs> um, now, when it comes to writing your own music, like you guys, um, you know, how much creative influence do you have in, like, say, like your music and the album? <laughs> Absolutely loads. Yeah, like we're writing literally every day. So like we always want to be able to like. I think if we were to release music that we didn't you know, believe in or we didn't have like a creative input on, then it just doesn't feel like your own your own thing. So I think we always want to have something to do with the stuff we release. And that's why I think we're improving as writers every day from pe- compared to like three years ago. I think we've improved so much. But um, then what happens when, so obviously if the three of you are collaborating on a track, is there like, are there creative differences? Do you like no, fight no, over no. stuff? I mean, it, it's not like... We would never fight over anything. It's we're at a point now where it's just like we're that comfortable that if someone put an idea in that no one likes, we'd just be like, no, that's not good. <laughs> and, and you just be like, you don't agree. You don't even take so it you're, saying, no. you're saying that nobody ever puts an idea in the hat, and the other two go, absolutely not. That was of crap. course, yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I'd, I'd be like, have an idea, and everyone would be like, no way, not in a million years. And then it's just like, okay, you just move on. It, with, it, we're at a point where it's just like everyone is cool with just you just say what you feel in a writing session especially if you have an idea then you just say it and then it can grow into a song okay and then what about when you're kind of like on the road and stuff and you're working long hours are you um do you ever like get cranky with each other yeah are you just really, are you, do you have that kind of like sibling ish of course yeah. relationship yeah i mean it's it's exactly like that we obviously most of the time we're always getting on because we're, we're just good friends but it's when when we have like a little spat, it's usually like what, like a ten minute yeah, thing. It's, who's, so, so it's who's, normally over FIFA, if anything. Whoever is. wins at FIFA, we're just a bit like, oh, <laughs> yeah, we'll throw <laughs> a controller. <laughs> okay, let's talk about your touring because that's starting in April, and you're touring with the Vamps. Woo. Um, so. How excited are you for that? <laughs> when I and they're like, here. <laughs> they're there. How excited are you for that? Cannot wait. We actually haven't like played a show for like ages, yes. especially in like here. Last show we played was like what September, something like that. So we have missed it. And uh, was it somewhere in the city? There you go. Wow. So there you go. So, the, so that the guys in the audience are telling the answer. But that's so time ago. So yeah. So you've toured with them before. What is that like? Is that a real? Oh oh, what's going on? Oh, been, Jack. Been sure. But that was like just like one song. Oh, no, it's two songs. Maybe that counts. Well, no more than us. <laughs> so what is it like touring with them? Are they a good laugh? Do you guys all get on together? Is there a lot of fun? Yeah, ob- yeah obviously. We're, we've been touring with them for like three years now. We've known them longer. So we're just, we're really good friends. We're always playing football. And yeah, we play pranks on each other. It's, it's more just like, just friends on tour and more than like two different bands. We just literally have a good time. And so are you all touring on a tour bus together? Is there like no, not, not the same, same tour bus? No, okay, different so you, bus. Okay, different so you get time out. You get time out. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. only really see him like at the show or like 
And the hotels, I suppose, as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we, we spend, like, days off, like... Playing footy. We play football most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Because Reese is a professional it's actually footballer, all we that's do. Right. Ah. So, I mean, like, so you, it's just probably, like, lots of fun, but have you any funny stories from when you're touring? Can you think of anything? Or, like, um, any pranks? I mean, they did... The, I mean, you've probably seen it, but, like, they did, like, some pranks of, for us on stage a few times. They've, like, We've messed with our mics. Our mics. Mm. They once... We They've were in, like... No Hope Club. On the back Before. of the thing, we um, <laughs> in like where was it on the Europe tour, and they were just like throwing grapes yeah, at us the yeah, whole a few show. Grapes. That's like more shows. Yeah, they're throwing stuff at us. They sh- threw melon at you. <laughs> I, yeah, I had a full on. Threw melon, melon at you whilst you're performing on stage. Yeah, yeah. 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 I had it on down my face. Yeah. What? Came down my face. I actually <laughs> there was once where I they put um, <laughs> my water bottle down and it was full of straight gin. Yeah. And he went, yeah, he went for And I genuinely went for no innocent clue. Drink. And I just went like that and drank like a proper gulp, and I was just like burning. <laughs> and I was like, and so I just like looked at our manager because he had definitely had involvement, and I just carried on drinking it in front of him. I was like, you did this. So. <laughs> what a bunch of messers. Right, okay, so I've had a quick stroll through your Instagram, and one thing I've learned is that you guys like to, do, to play a bit of dress up. So uh, can you explain <laughs> this? Photograph to us, please. Who is that? This is sexy this is beast. actually not us. That's not us. That is oh, Brenda. That is Khaleesi from <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, so this was an actual prank on the vamps. The vamps do like this um, meet and greet on stage. Right. Uh, where it's like halfway through the show, girls come up and get to them, or guys, or come come to meet up the vamps. Um, and we dressed up at the O2. And we were their fans. It was Manchester. Manchester. It was Manchester. Manchester. Oh, it wasn't the other two. It was Manchester. <laughs> My bad. Oops. So hang on. So did you come out on stage? And so it was middle like of that. the show, and it was time to do the meet and greet, and we just walked out. Mm-hmm. As that, we grew our hairs for this, you know. Yeah, we, we were in dark. That time. time. That wasn't just like yeah. one day. We didn't just that wake up like, like that. <laughs> <laughs> did people go crazy when you walked out like that? I'm sure. I don't think people know. Not many until people clock really until the cameras came on us. The vamps noticed straight away, obviously. Saw and, um, our legs. And <laughs> <laughs> the hairy legs. <laughs> right, we need to talk about your fan base because there are quite a few fans in the audience. <laughs> Some that have been here since 9 a.m. Wow. Yes. Impressive. Yes. I mean, we did send them away and said, listen, come back, you're going to get in. But what are your fan base like? I mean, you've got some really, really loyal supporters, don't you? Mm. They are genuinely, like, amazing. Like, no, you are. Like, 100%, I mean it, you are. It's just, you know, it's incredible. And, like, all around the world, they're all just bloody like, great. Crazy, so, you might yeah. say. What's the weirdest encounter you've ever had with a fan? Oh, I've oh, gone. I've gone. Here we go. Here I've we gone. Go. Here we go. So we was in, I can't remember, was it Japan? Uh, we was doing a meet and greet in Japan. Um, so there's obviously a line of people. Um, and it, there's like clearly just one quite old woman in the crowd. And that's fine. That's, you know, that's, that's fine. But she came. Probably like what? Like 50? Probably, yeah, 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 I mean, she was older than the other people there. 50, okay. 45, 50, around that. Okay. And then so she's like, walks along, like, George is like first in line. And she like comes up and she's like, oh, okay. yeah, for the, for By the, the way, me and Reese are meeting other people at this point, so we yeah. don't know what's going on. Okay. So. And then, like, so she goes to George, she's like, we get, okay. a, picture. We get a picture first. Yeah. We get a normal picture. <laughs> and then she's like, for the next 10 seconds, I am your mother. And you will, you have to call me mum, and I will call you son. And then like so, she pulls out a video camera and she's like filming. She's like, "Hello, son." <laughs> and you have I'm to like, be like, "Hello, mum." Hi, mum. I know what why she did it to that all three. All three, yeah. yeah. That is all three very weird. She just, <laughs> you have you to know? call me mum, and it was so she strange. paid good money. We had to yeah, do it. Got to do it. Oh yeah. my god, the so, things people do. Right, we've got more social questions. Um, Aliyah says, asks, you are clearly, you clearly have extremely good dress sense. Well done, by the way. Um, are you influenced, influenced by anybody or is it simply all you? Oh, no, oh, we, we, we dress definitely, ourselves. Yeah. Like, um, in the morning, <laughs> in the morning I get up and I do it myself. We make these uh, clothes from scratch. There. Um, but I'm sure you, no, you, you, you have a stylist as yeah. well too, who helps you. 
<laughs> no, we, we have, Genuinely. if we have a stylist, we have like a day where we go in and we see lots of clothes and okay. then we're like, okay, we, we like that and we don't like that. We always have a set where we wouldn't just like have an outfit given because we just, I don't know. It'd be a bit like weird. 99% we of the that. things we wear, we've bought and chosen. Okay. But like for like music videos and stuff, it's different. Slightly different. Mm. Okay. Um, another social question. Lucy from Notting Hill asks on Twitter, are you boys single? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. We actually are. We actually are. We actually are. There's no tea. There's, there's no always, tea. We always say, oh, there's definitely tea. It's just not. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. We actually are. We're alone this Valentine's Day. You we've are. got each other. Oh, you've got, got each, each other, other, guys. There's a new video. Got each other, and you've also got this lot, so don't worry about Aww. it. Um, okay, finally, tell us one thing uh, fans might not know about you. Uh, That's it's a tough every one, time we get it? asked this question, you it's get... like we release another thing, that, and now they do know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what, are you saying yeah. that you want to hold back some stuff for yourself, or can you give us one? Oh, wait. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think we hold anything back. There's like. There is nothing. Mm. Well, tonight um, we're playing football. Yeah. Tonight we're playing football. Yeah. I've got a Twix in my backpack. <laughs> You've got what? Um, a Twix. Twix. That's an exclusive. <laughs> I've got shin pads in my backpack. My shin pads. <laughs> George's shin pads. In Anything else pack. you'd like to tell us? I don't know. Um, um, we had Starbucks earlier. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty much most days. Yeah. It's not really mm. exclusive. Well, I mean. Oh, oh. Mm. We're going on tour soon. Well, hey, tour in April. Guys, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for. We've absolutely loved oh. having you here. Haven't we? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's just delayed. Oh. That was good delayed. luck with the tour in April. New Hope Club single permission is out now, and you can catch them on tour <laughs> from April. Uh, we'll be back next Wednesday with lots more Build Action right here in the Build Series London Sofa. Until then, goodbye. Right now, though, give it up one more time for New Hope Club. <laughs> Yeah.